Rostec has announced the commencement of serial production for the 2S25M Sprut SDM1, a new amphibious light tank equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun. This announcement was made during the Army 2023 event after successful state tests. The vehicle represents a progression from the earlier 2S25 Sprut SD 125mm self-propelled gun and is built upon the chassis of the BMD 4M armored infantry fighting vehicle. Functioning both as a light amphibious tank and a self-propelled anti-tank artillery gun, the 2S25M Sprut SDM-1 was first unveiled during the Army 2015 International Military Technical Forum as a prototype. In 2021, the armament of this lightweight amphibious tank underwent testing in the Black Sea as part of the Armored Vehicle State Trials. These tests demonstrated the tank's ability to fire its 125mm cannon effectively in various sea conditions. The Sprut SDM-1 successfully completed sea trials, demonstrating navigational capabilities on water and transport suitability on large amphibious assault ships and military transport aircraft like the IL-76. With a travel distance exceeding 8,000 kilometers, the vehicle underwent rigorous testing across diverse terrains and off-road conditions. The vehicle's armor underwent comprehensive testing, highlighting its capacity for protection against ballistic and mine threats. Noteworthy enhancements over the 2S25 Sprut SD include improvements to the fire control system and the addition of a heavy machine gun to enhance air defense capabilities. The development and production of the Sprut SDM-1 were overseen by the Russian Design Bureau of VGTZ slash Volgograd Tractor Plant, operating under Concern Tractor Plants, a division of the Machine Building and Industrial Group. The primary objective of the Sprut SDM-1 is to provide fire support across varied combat scenarios, including engagements with armored vehicles, elimination of enemy strongholds, reconnaissance missions, and outpost duties. Despite its weight of 18 tons, the Sprut SDM-1 offers significant firepower comparable to the T-90MS main battle tank. Equipped with the 2A75 125mm smoothbore gun with a remote two-axis stabilized machine gun mount, a modified version of the 2A46 gun found in main battle tanks, the vehicle offers a firing range of 5 km. The tank can use various modern munitions, such as armor-piercing subcaliber rounds, high-explosive shells, remotely detonated munitions, and anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs. The Sprut SDM-1 is also equipped with an automatic loader similar to those present in T-90 and T-72 tanks. The design intentionally omits a muzzle brake to prevent interference with anti-tank guided missiles and eliminate the risk of temporary blinding due to hot powder gases. Recoil energy management involves extended recoil device travel, along with the hydropneumatic suspension of the chassis. Additional armament includes a 7.62mm machine gun for auxiliary purposes and six smoke grenade launchers, three on each side of the cannon. The vehicle's armament is managed by a modern fire control system that integrates combined sights featuring television and thermal imaging channels. This system facilitates firing in diverse weather conditions, day and night, and includes features like automatic target tracking and compatibility with programmable fuse projectiles for precise detonation. The Sprut SDM-1 is powered by a UTD-29 multi-fuel four-stroke diesel engine, producing between 450 and 500 horsepower. This enables a maximum speed of 70 km per hour on paved roads while its improved buoyancy capabilities allow for movement at 7 km per hour in water, thanks to water jets positioned on either side at the rear of the hull. The tank offers a maximum cruising range of 500 km and can navigate slopes of 35% forward and 25% side, as well as cross a trench of 2.8 m width and a vertical obstacle of 0.8 m. The 2S25M comes equipped with a modern digital fire control system, incorporating a Sosna UPNM gunner's combined sight and a PKP commander's panoramic sight. These sights enable firing all types of munitions, including guided missiles, with automatic target acquisition and tracking systems. 
The Sprut SDM-1 is integrated into a unified tactical level control system, facilitating the exchange of target data between the crew of three and other vehicles. This integration also enables the reception of target designations and data from unmanned aerial vehicles and radar stations. Designed for deployment by Russian ground forces, Marines, airborne units, and amphibious assault teams, the Sprut SDM-1 is optimized for various combat scenarios, whether stationary or mobile, on land or in water, during daylight or nighttime, particularly in situations with reduced visibility. The 2S25M Sprut SDM-1 may attract interest from regions like India, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. Decisions regarding a focus on foreign markets will be evaluated by Rosoboran Export, Russia's state arms exporter.